Where are you in Italy? I am in uh, Parma, 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 Italy, okay. in the north. Yes, like Parmigiano Reggiano, Parma ham. How is your uh, Italian? Uh, it's good enough. It's good enough if I want to get fed and uh, <laughs> if I want to get, get <laughs> if I want to get a ticket or need a coffee or ask for directions. I would say it's plus conversational, higher than conversational, but not quite fluent. Enough to get around and survive. All right. Uh, If I ask you to pronounce uh, mozzarella, how would you pronounce that? A mozzarella. Uh, A buffalo mozzarella. All right. I I want to (laughs) judge, would you judge Seton's uh, Italian? Now, he's not Italian. He's Irish, but but he's working on his Italian. His wife's Italian. All right, Seton, go ahead. Mozzarella. (laughs) <laughs> mozzarella. A mozzarella. mozzarella it's mozzarella yeah a lot of people it's funny i've learned that uh, the american version of italian food is pretty funny there's actually been a lot of youtube videos and people talking about pronunciation yeah but if you try to say you come here and you and you say mozzarella they'll, they you won't get served they say <laughs> buffalo yeah they'll be like yeah uh, buffalo mozzarella <laughs> mozzarella <laughs> Is there, Say, is there an keep olive? I, keep <laughs> I. <laughs> is there an Olive Garden in uh, in Parma? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. I think if they opened an Olive Garden here, it probably <laughs> wouldn't do pretty well. <laughs> to be kind, because I did, you know, I did make uh, we made our our minor league checks stretch very long on the free breadsticks and the salad, <laughs> but. Uh, in Italy, I don't think it would do well. Although they do have a Starbucks here now in Milan, which a lot of people said Starbucks when Starbucks wouldn't survive here. But it's not your typical Starbucks. It's it's very very high end. So I imagine they have to up the quality a little. Are you full time Italian resident? Yes, I have two passports, and my kids have been in school here about four years. Uh, the COVID year obviously was very difficult for everybody, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's just something my wife and I wanted to do completely different and just kind of change the culture, and they're very fluent in Italian. I'm actually taking my kid to soccer practice tonight uh, after after we get off, so he's uh, playing soccer. He scored a goal the other day, which is kind of cool. He's not really a striker. He's kind of a skilled midfielder who follows up the place. So it's a great experience for him. And and now that things are getting back to normal, you know, it's a little easier to go back and forth. 